in my earlier video i have discussed about partial derivative and differentiability of multivariable calculus today at first i will discuss some relation about differentiability continuity and partial derivative there is a nice theorem if f has a continuous partial derivative at a neighborhood of x not y not then f is differentiable at that neighborhood okay and we will denote the function with continuous partial derivative vertices then a belongs to c1 okay now i will say one nice relation at first consider a belongs to c1 near the neighborhood x not y not we all of us know what is the c1 and that imply f is differentiable near x not y not that also imply f is continuous near the neighborhood x not y not and if f is differentiable at the point x not y not that imply there exist always partial derivative okay but if is if f is continuous near the neighborhood x not y not that does not always imply there exists a partial derivative that means this is not always necessary condition also if f is continuous near the x not y not neighborhood that does not imply the function is differentiable and also if f is differentiable near the point x not y not that also does not imply the converse f is c1 okay so for example i have seen in my earlier video if i consider the function fxy equal to 0 when xy not equal to 0 and 1 when xy equal to 0 then this function has a partial derivative always at the point 0 0 but this function is not continuous at the point 0 0 which i have seen in my earlier video so i have recommended you at first see my earlier video of multivariable calculus if you see those video then this video would be so easy also if you consider this function fxy equal to x plus y times sin 1 over x plus y where xy not equal to 0 and otherwise elsewhere the function the value of the function is 0 this function is a continuous function at the point 0 0 but partial derivative does not exist are you getting this relation here all partial derivative in this example all partial derivative exist but the function is not continuous at the point 0 0 but this function will imply the function is continuous but partial derivative does not exist at the point 0 0 let's see this question you can use here only epsilon delta definition we all of us know the epsilon delta definition is fxy minus 0 0 minus f of 0 0 and at the point 0 0 the value of the function is 0 
then this is equal to x plus y sin 1 over x plus y and since this function is bounded and always less than equal to 1 that means this is imply mod of x plus y and by this line this is less than equal to mod of x plus mod of y also we all of us know this relation absolute value of x minus absolute value y of y whole square always greater than equal to 0 and that imply absolute value of x square plus modulus of y square minus 2 modulus of x times modulus of y always greater than equal to 0 and that imply mod of x square plus mod of y square greater than equal to 2 times mod of x times mod of y and this value always since here square term x square plus y square greater than equal to 2 times mod of x times mod of y okay and if we add again x square plus y square plus x square plus y square in both side x square plus y square plus 2 times absolute value of x times absolute value of y and this is actually equal to imply 2 times x square plus y square which is greater than absolute value of x plus absolute value of y whole square okay we can write absolute value of x plus absolute value of y always less than equal to square root of 2 x square plus y square to the power half okay that means by this relation we can tell easily this part less than equal to square root of 2 times square root of x square plus y square and this is always less than equal to 2 times delta sorry here square root of 2 and this is imply less than epsilon where choose delta equal to epsilon over square root of 2 okay well that means our epsilon delta definition has satisfied here that means the function is continuous at the point 0 0 now i will check the partial derivative at the point 0 0 just check if we consider the partial derivative derivative with respect to x then the definition is just check limit a stands to 0 since the point is 0 0 the definition is f of 0 plus a is comma 0 minus f of 0 0 over a at that imply limit a stands to 0 a is sin 1 over a is over a by calculating this is imply limit a stands to 0 sin 1 over a we all of us know this limit does not exist at the point 0 0 means partial derivative with respect to x at the point 0 0 does not exist similarly if we check the partial derivative with respect to y then this value also does not exist the function is continuous at the point 0 0 but partial derivative does not exist at the point 0 0 okay well now i will see one new function fx y equal to xl cube plus 2y cube over x square plus y square when x y not equal to 0 0 and otherwise the value is 0 and this function has a partial derivative at the point 0 0 and also continuous at the point 0 0 but does not differentiable at the point 0 0. Let us check at first the partial derivative at the point 0 0. At 
first the partial consider partial derivative derivatives at 0 0 with respect to x and the formula is limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h comma 0 minus f of 0 0 over h and this is equal to actually limit h tends to 0 h cube over h cube because at the point 0 0 the value of the function is 0 and this is equal to 1 then the partial derivative derivatives at 0 0 with respect to y is limit k tends to 0 f of 0 comma 0 plus k minus f of 0 0 over a over k and this is equal to limit k tends to 0 f of 0 comma k minus f of 0 0 over k and this value actually equal to limit k tends to 0 2k cube over k square and since the at the point 0 0 the value of the function is 0 that over k and this value equal to after putting the limit 2 that means all partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y exist. If you put x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta then this function would be always continuous. Let us take it own self. I have proved this type of example in my previous video. Now let us check the differentiability at the point 0 0 and for differentiability we have to check the tangent plane at the point 0 0 and we all of us know the formula of the tangent plane at 0 0 would be f of 0 0 plus partial derivative with respect to x at the point 0 0 times x minus 0 plus partial derivative with respect to y at the point 0 0 times y minus 0 and this value equal to the value of f of 0 0 equal to 0 and partial derivative with respect to x at the point 0 0 is 1 times x plus partial derivative with respect to y at the point 0 0 equal to 2 times y that means this is equal to x plus 2y okay then rxy equal to f of xy minus tangent plane at the point 0 0 and the value of f of x y equal to x r cube plus 2 y r cube over x square plus y square and minus x plus 2 y. Calculate the value. This would be x r cube plus 2 y r cube minus x r cube minus 2 y r cube minus 2 x square y minus x y square over x square plus y square. After calculating this value would be equal to minus x y whole square minus 2 x square y over x square plus y square. For differentiability we all of us know we have to check limit x y tends to 0 0 r x y over norm of x y minus 0 0 equal to 0 ok value limit x y tends to 0 0 the value of r x y equal to minus x y whole square minus 2 x 
स्क्वायर वाई ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू लिमिट एक्स वाई टेंस टू जीरो जीरो माइनस एक्स वाई होल स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर वाई ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर टू दि पावर थ्री ओवर टू फॉर यू वैल्यू द लिमिट इफ यू पुट द वैल्यू वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स देन इट वुड बी लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू जीरो माइनस एम स्क्वायर माइनस टू एम ओवर वन प्लस एम स्क्वायर टू दि पावर थ्री ओवर टू ओके एंड दिस वैल्यू ऑफ लिमिट वी ऑल ऑफ अस नो डिपेंड ऑन एम डिपेंड ऑन द वैल्यू एम सो दिस लिमिट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट लिमिट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट एट zero so the function is not differentiable because when this value would be zero then the function will be differentiable yes the given function has partial derivative at the point 0 0 and also continuous at the point 0 0 but the function does does not have differentiability at the point 0 0 okay well now i will see other example this is the example if x f x y equal to x y over x square plus y square when x y not equal to 0 otherwise the value value of the function is 0 here partial derivative with respect to x and partial derivative with respect to y exist all point any arbitrary point x y but i will observe this partial derivative of the function does not continuous okay let's see the partial derivative with respect to x at the point x1 this would be if you calculate then the value would be y cube over x square plus y square over 3 over to the power 3 over 2 when x y not equal to 0 0 calculate it on self and otherwise the value that means when x y equal to 0 then find similar way just put this definition limit a tends to 0 f of a is 0 minus f of 0 0 over a is and this if you calculate this value would be 0 then this is equal to 0 Similarly, f of y x y would be x r cube over x square plus y square over three over two when x y not equal to zero zero. Otherwise, the value is zero. Similarly, and this is similar. The definition is limit k tends to zero. f of 0 k minus f of 0 0 over k and this value would be 0 now let's check the continuity of this function f of x and f of y at first consider f of x x y equal to y cube over x square plus y square over 3 over 2 put for this we all of us know when this type of equation to check continuity we have to put x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta then this function would be replaced in polar coordinate and this function would be if you put this value then this would be sin cube theta now 
find the limit since here it replaces polar coordinate then the limit would be limit r tends to 0 sin cube theta and we all of us know this limit cannot exist because here the value is theta so this function is not continuous are you getting similarly if you observe this function similar way putting this value similarly you will see this function also not continuous that means for this function all partial derivative exist but this new function that means when i will do partial derivative then it will represent new function because this is the new function and this is also other new function this function not continuous that means f does not belongs to c1 because we, i have told you when the partial derivative of the function is continuous then f is belongs to c1 okay now i will give you one example which will violate the first condition of differentiability in starting our lecture i have told you if all partial derivative exist and all partial derivative be continuous then function is differentiable but this is necessary condition this is right but this is not sufficient if all partial derivative exist but this partial derivative is not continuous at this point that does not imply the function cannot be differentiable here i will check the differentiability at the point 0 0 because here the variation and to check differentiability at first we have to find the tangent plane so to find the tangent plane we have to find the partial derivative with respect to x at the point 0 0 and this value would be limit a tends to 0 f of a is 0 minus f of 0 0 over a is and this is equal to limit a tends to 0 a is a square cos 1 over square root of a is a square and this would be limit a tends to 0 a is a square cos 1 over a and here notice this term always tends to 0 and this is the bounded function so by limit property all of us know this value would be always 0 similarly if you find the fy at the point 0 0 this value also would be 0 so the equation of the tangent plane of this function at 0 0 would be f of 0 0 plus f of x at the point 0 0 times x minus 0 plus f of y at the point 0 0 times y minus 0 and this value would be f of 0 0 equal to 0 and this is also 0 times x plus 0 times y and the, the equation of the tangent plane at the point 0 0 is 0. We have to find the rxy. The value of rxy would be f of xy minus the equation of the tangent plane here the plane at 0 0 and this value would be f of xy because this this value is 0 this is equal to x square plus y square times cos 1 over square root of x square plus y square okay and for differentiability we have to check limit xy tends to 0 0 r of xy over norm of xy minus 0 0 
always we will be zero. If this value is zero, then we can tell easily this function is differentiable. That means we have to prove zero. This value is zero. Now put the value limit x y tends to zero zero. The value of r x y x square plus y square times cos one over x square plus y square over square root of x square plus y square. By calculating this value would be limit x y tends to zero zero square root of x square plus y square times cos one over x square plus y square. Similarly. This limit always would be tends to zero as x y tends to zero, and this value is bounded, so this limit would be zero. Okay, that means this function is differentiable at the point zero zero. That means the function is differentiable. Since the function is differentiable, that means the function is always continuous because differentiability always implies continuity. Now to find the continuity of fx and f of y, we have to find f of x when x y not equal to zero zero. The value of f of x would be minus x square plus y square sine one over square root of x square plus y square times minus half. Times 2x over x square plus y square to the power 3 over 2 plus 2x cos 1 over x square plus y square. After simplifying, this equation would be sine 1 over x square plus y square times x over square root of x square plus y square plus 2 times x cos 1 over x square plus y square. This is the new fx when x y not equal to 0 0 and when the value 0 0 then this value would be 0 that means this is 0 when x y equal to 0 0. Okay. Now we have to prove continuity of this new function. Here when x y not equal to 0 and here when x y equal to 0. Okay. Now if you take for continuity along x axis then the limit would be limit x tends to 0 f of x x y equal to limit x tends to 0 x over mod x sin 1 over mod x plus 2x times cos 1 over mod x. Okay. And here the limit x tends to 0 and here mod x when x goes to plus 0 then the value here would be plus 1 and when x goes to minus 0 then the value of this function would be minus 1. That means there exist two different limit at the point 0. So this limit at the point 0 cannot exist. This function is not continuous because when you will take this part then the condition has violated. Similarly, if you put the f of y, similarly you will find f of y also not continuous. So, the function is differentiable and both partial derivative exist. But these partial derivatives are not continuous. Okay. Now, I hope my all viewers have, have understood this relation because I have given all type of example about this relation. Okay. 
Oi.